well, how do we create this at home? Well, the Japanese took the technology and said, let's create a lightning strike, and we're gonna pay, put some medical grade platinum and titanium plates in a machine that's the size of your coffee maker. And really what happens is it takes this cluster of water molecules and it breaks them into smaller groups. When it says 8.59 and 9.5, because they pioneered the pH thing um, and that whole um, economy and product line, it would be better to say um, large, medium, small, or you know, high or low. Because what happens is the 8.5 you could say is that, that cluster is broken down to six groups of four with four extra electrons. The 9.0 would be five groups of five. And the 9.5 would be like six groups of four. And the 11.5 would be two groups of 12 or 12 groups of two. It just gets smaller and smaller and smaller. It's the amount of electrolysis that the water has gone under. Another way to think about it is if you had this cluster of grapes to represent a water molecule and you had this jug, this is the aquaporin and you're gonna get all these things in here, you have to break these things apart to dump them in here. If you don't break them apart, you're gonna get really poor hydration. What the machine does is it breaks off the grapes and dumps them in there individually. Um, sorry if you guys in Canada, I know we've got some Australians on here now. 50% um, of your body weight in ounces. Um, you can do a conversion. Um, I think it was like 2.5% of your body weight in liters or something like that when I checked it out. But essentially here in the US, regular health, you wanna drink half your body weight in ounces on a regular day. So if I weigh 200 pounds, I wanna drink 100 ounces of water. If I've been outside working out really hard, I wanna drink 75% of my body weight or 150 ounces. If I have a serious health condition, cancer, diabetes, fibromyalgia, Crohn's, you wanna drink 100% of your body weight in ounces. And some people will look at me and go, are you kidding me? I weigh 300 pounds, that's a lot of water. Yes, it is, there's a lot of you there. And so you need to flush that stuff out. Most people retain fluid because they're so incredibly toxic. Now, there are exceptions to the rule on this, if your physician has already specifically reduced your water intake, fine, drink a reduced level of this water. 